I like your haircut. Thank you. It looks good. Sweet. Never seen it this short before. I don't think it's ever been this short. It's as short as you are. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. Damn I'm it. I broke myself. Um. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Waffles. And this is How To Rent A Place. We recently went through a move ourselves, and it was a bit of a struggle. So we thought it might make for a good how-to. We've broken it down into three categories. Prep, search, and view. Let's start with prep. The first thing you want to do is to get your finances in order. Most places want you to collectively make about three times the rent a month, so pull your incomes together early to know what you can afford. And remember that you should be using your gross income, which is the amount you make before taxes are taken out. Find that on your pay stubs. You have pay stubs. Get a few of those together to show proof of income when you're applying. Also, know most places expect you to pay an application fee each. And it's non-refundable, so try not to apply to every place you see. Next, pick your site. There's a lot of options, the most reliable probably being Zillow and Realtor.com. From the site, enter the parameters for beds, baths, and prices you're hoping to find. Lastly, find yourself a realtor. Ask people you know for suggestions. You're going to need one to let you into the places, and they're absolutely free. You don't pay for their services, so don't let that deter you. Now we've entered the search phase. This is the longest phase as you find the livables hidden in the trash piles. Create an account to save houses that you like. Pictures are your best tool. Make sure there's a big enough sample to sift through. If it's just exterior pictures, there's no pictures of the kitchen or bathroom, or no pics at all, drop it. Other than pics, you have the description. Read through all the flavor text for the good and bad of it. See if they mention any recent renovations. Amenities like pool or fitness center. Or if they want somebody in August, then you're looking for June. That's obviously not going to work for you. If there's no description at all, dumpster fire. Also plan for laundry and trash. Do you have a washer dryer in the unit or quarter machines in the basement? Is trash picked up or do you have to walk it eight blocks to the nearest dumpster? Check out the area. You're going to want to have the essentials nearby and the most important distance is your commute. Check what traffic looks like around there. And keep coming back to check daily. Places go fast and you want to jump on new listings. Once you've found a few options, it's time to go to the view phase. This is a must. If you're changing states, visit. If you've got friends in the area, have them go for you. Just make sure someone makes it inside. And here's a few things you should do once you are inside. Open all the appliances. Check for an ice maker. Kick on the AC to make sure that it works. Snip. If you're finding any strange smells, those are going to stick around. Discoloration around vents or water stains. Those are bad. Cabinets under sinks for drippage and the like. Caulking and grout on tubs. Mounted fixtures like fans, blinds. And most importantly, lights. Ask about parking. Do you get a spot, garage, street parking? Plan for your cars. Go in sandals and walk around barefoot. You'll spend most of your time at home that way, so try it out. And after all that's done, make sure to apply quickly. Places disappear fast, and you don't want to miss out on a place because you waited that extra day to submit your application. If you're in a buyer's market, you can try to negotiate on the price, but don't go in expecting to talk anybody down. It's definitely not a buyer's market right now. <laughs> Act natural. Do it again. <laughs> Can that be the thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs>